right. All right, shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, before we get started, we'll give our honor and glory and power to Yahweh. Want to say double honors to our elders, our great apostles, great men of stone, who we will teach with, man, great example of Israel, man, the elect. I want to say peace and blessings to hopefully elect on the four corner, pushing the truth and sincerely, that great song on the bottom of the bar to my left. You know, all right, we just come with a lesson through the spirit of power we have by Shema Shai. All right, like a uh, exhortation, you know what I'm saying? Another spiritual booth, another uh, another uh, spiritual faith booster, all right, for the Akim, you know, and the Awa that, you know what I'm saying, believe wholeheartedly, you know what I'm saying, the coming of our Lord, you have a shot, man, who the word is going to call Jesus Christ, all right? Because guess what? In that time, we good, all right? We good, man. We good, man. You got to believe, all right, in a time of trouble, we're going to be good, man. All right? So we got to keep that in mind. All right? We got to keep that faith. And we got to continue to believe and keep pushing. All right? Because as long as we keep pushing, as long as we keep that faith and endure, guess what? It's going to happen. All right? Because you can't get nothing in this world without having the faith and, 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 and having the endurance to keep going to accomplish what you want in life. So how much more, how much more in the truth? You know, because, you know, Jake put their eyes into uh, basketball. They go to practice every day. They go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? They do workouts. You know what I'm saying? They do all these sorts of activities because, why? They striving to be the best in what? Basketball. So how much more of us striving, all right, to be delivered out of this head that's coming upon this place, man? So we got to be in, in, a, in a state of mind of good cheer and of good courage that the Lord going to protect us and he's going to have our back no matter what. All right, uh, we're gonna get started. I hope your brothers and sisters edify. You know, I'm like, Law down, man. Oh, you got it, brother. This is Sirach chapter 1 and 13. Uh -huh. Whoso feareth the Lord, you have by Shimmy Hawa Shah, it shall go well with him at the last. See that because it said, He that feared the Lord, Yahweh, it shall go well with him at the last. Why? Because when you fear the Lord, what you doing? You keeping his sayings. You don't want pleasing unto him. All right? You're not, you're not all uh, wandering off, all right, in the world of things. You see? Why? Because you fear the Lord that you do wander off in the world of things. He gonna jack you up. So your best bet is to what? Continue to keep the righteous act to the best of your ability. Continue to rehearse. You know, continue to, to do what's pleasing unto the Lord. And it's gonna go well with you at the end because at the end, you're gonna be what? Delivered. All right, that's why I say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. All right, and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, right, is the strength of what? His treasure. You know, but you got it out. This is Sirach 1 and 13. Whoso feareth the Lord, you have by Shem, you have a shot. It shall go well with him at the last. Right. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. You see, what is favor? Mercy. You see, why? Because you have did and done what was pleasing unto the Lord, and what? You feared him? You kept his commandments to the best of your ability? You see that? Mm -hmm. And then what it's saying, uh, 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 Ecclesiastes? Mm -hmm. Fear the Lord, keep his commandments, mm -hmm. because that ain't that the whole dude, I man. That's right. So it's going to go well with you, man. You see, because you didn't put your trust in oppression. You put your trust and faith in your high by Shema Shah, who control all things. You see, because this truth, the law of Thetra's commandment is a GPS to life. All right, it's guiding us to the kingdom of heaven. You know, just like the, oh, you gonna bring it out, Second Andrew? Yeah, yeah, bring it out, Second Andrew, real quick, and I'm gonna explain it more. Come on. This is Second Andrew, chapter 16 and 74. Come on. Hear, O ye, my beloved, says the Lord, behold, the days of trouble. Or at hand. The what? The days of trouble are at hand. Man, it's finna go, man, it's finna get out, it's finna get crazy out here, man. All right? It's finna, like, you know how Jake said, it's finna be ruthless out here. All right? It's finna be all hell. All hell finna break loose in just a second. Especially when he's uh, bringing these new mandates. All right? As he already started to bring in certain uh, countries. Wait till they come to America. Where everybody is, is set in their ways. They're thinking they're free. 
You know what I'm saying? Thinking they got it going on. Thinking they can't be touched. Wait till it come to America. When these niggas, all right, uh, 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 out here is Bruce B. Children. Mm. You know, not giving a damn. You see? Wait till it come to America, man. All right? And as long as what? It's Jacob Trouble. You got it, Doc. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 16 to 74. Here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, you have by Shimmy how was shot. Yep. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, Why? but I will deliver you from the same. See, the Lord said he's going to deliver us from the same. All right? That's why the Lord said, scribe unto the truth unto death, and he's going to fight for us. So through the midst of all this hell that's coming upon this place, we're going to have to continue to do what the Lord said do. All right? Until, guess what? There's no more else we can do. All right? Until the family of the world happen. But to the end, we got to constantly go out and push up the word. All right? If you can grab Baruch 418 real quick. Because they're going to bag that up. And I'm going to grab the, 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 uh, the pledge. This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 18. It reads, For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Yeah, read that one more time, Mark. This is Baruch 4 and 18. For he that brought these plagues upon you. Who is he that brought these plagues upon us? All right, the uh, horrific uh, events that's coming upon this place. Yahweh. Mahashem Yahweh Shah. So these things are happening because the Lord has spoken him. Also, guess what? He gonna protect us. All right. It, it said that the uh the angel a capital right around about uh them that what bring him. You see, so we're gonna have a hedge, we're gonna have a shield, we're gonna have protection. All right, we're gonna have a covering, all right, which is the angels, but through the spirit of what of your high Shemel Shah. Why? Because we fear him, we obey him, and we did what was pleasing unto him. Uh, uh, I think they go ahead. It says, "For the, he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies." Right, because it is written. All right, this is Revelation twelve and twelve. It is written by our enemies to come against us. All right, like what? Back in the ancient times, man, ain't nothing new under the sun. This is gonna be the last time that our enemy is gonna roll on us, man. All right, this is gonna be the last time. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It said, Therefore rejoice ye heaven, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because he know it that he had but a short time. You see? And when the devil coming down with great wrath, that's part of the pledge. All right? Because guess what he coming with? You see? He coming with all types of uh, 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 foul acts uh, against the children of Israel. Martial law, the FEMA camps, you know, the pestilence with diseases, you know. These things are going to happen. The sword, all right, the mandate of uh, 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 the MOTB. You see, all these things is going to happen because what? He know he had no but a short time, but the Lord said what? He going to deliver us. Out of the hands of the enemy. Right. All we got to do is continue to, to have faith and do what the Lord commanded us to do, man. That's, that's the part that we got to, uh, you know what I'm saying, endure on is keeping the Lord's sayings, keeping the words of his patience. You got it, Doc. This is Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse uh, seven. 7. Come. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape. By his works. By what? By his works. By his works. All right. What was the works? Doing what the Lord commanded you to do. Preaching and teaching. All right. And you will help. You help. You know, anything that's profitable or uh, uh, helping the servants of your high by Shema and Shah, man. All right. Them your works. You can't be like a fucking Christian. Go to, go to church and, and clap and, and, and go home. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Well, what where your work at? You know? The blood is still on your hands. You see? Because it said faith without works is what? Dead. It is dead, man. 
And I'm going to show you my faith by my works, man. And this is what we do, starting with the apostles, man. All right, we're showing you our faith by our works, going out there week in and week out, in season, out of season, prophesied a downfall of America, a.k.a. Babylon, and also fishing for the elect that the lower house may be filled when he come for the marriage, man. You got it, dog. This is Second Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape. So you want to be able to escape. You know? You, you want to be able to escape the the, 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 the dreadful day of your high by Shema shot, man, which is fashion approaching. But how can you escape? Go ahead, bro. By by his by by his works yep. and by faith, whereby ye have believed. See, when you have what? By ye have believed. So you have to believe. You gotta have faith in the Lord. You know, especially in the time that's coming. All right, like we'll uh you know it uh Yashawan was going into uh, in, in the first Maccabees, all right, how they was getting down, you know what I'm saying? Right. The anybody believe in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, or was rocking a certain type of Israelite fabric or whatever, guess what? You're being put to death. Guess what? That time is coming again. Whosoever think they're Israelite is gonna be put to death. You see that? You know, forcing you to take the MOTB. If you don't, if you don't uh, go along to get along, guess what? You're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be exed out in this society. So what you gonna do? You see, time is coming, man. Yeah. You got it up. This is First Thessalonians, <clears throat> chapter four, and verse eighteen. Huh. It reads, "War four. Comfort one another with these words. And that's what we're doing right now, man. All right? We're comforting you with the scriptures, letting you know it's going to be okay. The Lord said, fear not for these things got to happen. Order for the kingdom of heaven to come. <laughs> the destruction got to happen. The downfall got to happen. You know, the, 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 uh, you know the, the 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 hard the hardness of us going through hell and catching hell has got to happen for us to have peace. Right. All right, it's got to happen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Uh, uh, this is First Peter chapter three and fourteen. Huh. But if ye suffer for righteousness, right, and that's what we're doing. That's why I say better to suffer righteous than evil doing. But guess what we're doing as, as men of the Lord? We suffer for righteousness, man. All right? Because what? It said he that departed from evil, Make making himself a prey. So guess what? We are a prey in this society because we departed from this, from this society, man. All right? We no longer in this world. We not alone. We no longer of this world. So guess what? The world hates us. You see? So read that again and say what? He did uh, suffer for righteousness. For, for righteousness sake. Right. Happy are ye and be not afraid of their terror. See, be not afraid of their terror because they're going to come. All right. It's, it's many examples in the scriptures. All right. The devil has come, came on, on the apostles and, 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 and the prophets. All right. Uh, killing, trying to kill them and have did put some to death. But the Lord still made a way. All right, they're they coming for us, man. Well, guess what? The Lord said, What up? It's, it reads, It says, Neither be troubled, but sanctify the Lord, you have by Shimmy, how a shy in your hearts, and be ye ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with Ooh, meekness and fear. That's right, you see, you know, because at the end of the day, all we have is the truth. You know, and guess what? We company each other with them words. But it's gonna be okay, brother. You know, you know, like the like like the Lord said, you know, ascribe unto the truth unto death. You know what I'm saying? Did not the scripture say through much tribulation shall you enter to the kingdom of heaven? So you know why you're catching hell, brother. But guess what? It's okay because the Lord dealing with you. Did not the scripture say that he chased the home or uh, whom he loved? You know what I'm saying? So you company the brother with these words. Yeah, I, I understand you can't see your son right now, but did not the Lord say that he's going to give us back a hundredfold? You know what I'm saying? I know you're constantly getting fired from your job, but, you know, the, the Lord got you. 
Is you not still got a roof over your head? You know, is you, is you not still eating? Is you not giving your daily bread? You know, these things gonna happen to the to his servants, the prophets, man. All right, why? Because we are not of this world, man. You gotta go out. This is Joshua chapter one, and uh, uh, verse verse nine. Uh, it reads, "Have not I commanded thee, be strong." Oh, see, that's another commandment. You see, he said, "Have I not commanded thee?" See, that's a commandment from the Lord to be strong. Don't be fucking weak minded, man. Like these, uh, uh <laughs> like Jake was, all right, in, in, in the uh, in the, in the Greek Empire, man. All right, they gave up. Let's let, 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 let all just just uh, bow down, you know, what I'm saying to the king and no, no, be stronger than that because we have we had forefathers and foremothers were put to death because they didn't want to eat swine. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to take on the customs. All right, or the in the fashion of that lifestyle. So they're ready to be put to death. That's how we gotta be. We gotta be strong minded like that, man. Coming to the time that's coming upon this place. All right? Because this devil is finna come down having great wrath, man. We don't know how this devil finna come. We know it's written. You know, but that's why the scriptures and and, and, and this word is our God, all right, to keep us on the straight path. You know, you got it out. This is Joshua 1 and 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. What? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. See, be not afraid. Yeah, we in the flesh, but the Lord gave us a cheat code for that, though. Yeah, we in the flesh. Damn, I want to say, you know what I'm saying? You know, you get the bubble guts and shit, you know? But guess what? We got something to come back there. Hey, y'all watch my shop, please protect me. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're putting up that quick prayer. That the Lord protect us and have cup on us. That's the cheat card right there. Now, guess what? It's going to come for us. It's going to smooth us in. Cool. I'm settled. Whatever happened, happened because it's of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But but the flesh is weak. So the flesh is going to be trying to get to you. I think you should go ahead and say that. You got them demons and shit. I think you should go ahead and uh, take, the, uh, take the chip, man. Because, you know, it ain't, ain't looking too pretty for you, man. I think they're going to go ahead and fuck that, man. All right, because in your mind, and you read the scriptures, if I do take the chip, I'm still gonna be put to death. So I might as well be put to death for righteousness, standing boldly, you know what I'm saying, or standing for something. Because either way, I'm gonna die. But I got a better chance of surviving and being, I got a better chance of escaping if I keep the sayings of the Lord. I, I, I might have a chance to escape if I do this. But if I do this, I'm gonna be put to death. So fuck it. I'm gonna try. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. This the best. This the best out. You know, trying to make a way out. And to try to make a way out is what this wisdom and this knowledge and this understanding the Lord have gave us, man. All right, that rain down from heaven, the spiritual manner. You know, the enter to means, man. And now, guess what? Look what we're doing. We got faith now. We got hope. You know, we reading, we studying it. You know what I'm saying? We weren't doing this when, when going back uh, 15 years, all right? Speaking of uh, 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 of young men, all right? We weren't doing this, man. All right? Speaking of our forefathers, they weren't doing this, man. All right? Going back in the, in, in, in the uh, 40s and, the, you know, there wasn't none of this going on. The spirit entered to the earth now, man. Right. Why? Because this is time that the Lord finna visit the earth which he made. So now we got something to stand up for and be in good carriage for and being in, in the mind state of fuck this place. Hey, we are all, all right, hey, hey, for the elect, man. Endure all things for the elect's sake. Fuck it what we have to go through, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, we good. We good, man. The Lord got our back, man. That's why I said take triplet. You know, when I when I uh uh go into a lower state, you know, but you got a lot. This is back in Joshua chapter one and nine. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Right. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is with thee wheresoever thou goest. 
Oh, one more time. Uh, this is Joshua 1 and 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, thy power is with thee. The Lord is with us. It might not seem like it. But guess what? The Lord is with us, man. All right? Yahweh, Shai, Shai is with us, man. He is not going to forsake us, man. All right? He said he not for, uh, he not uh, the power to forget our works of labor of love, man. So the Lord ain't going to forget us, man. He's not going to uh, uh, abandon us. So uh, we got to do it. Don't abandon the Lord and don't uh, abandon the spirit. Stay firm. Stay true to the game, man. You know, stay stay down when you have about Shema and Shah, man. He got us, man. He got it out. Uh, for that, uh, um, I read it again. It says, yeah. have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Right. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. Oh. For the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, thy power is with thee wheresoever thou goest. Right. See, wherever thou goest, he with us. What are we going to the concentration camps? You know what I'm saying? Where the Lord make us pilgrims? You know, we're in the wilderness. We hide now somewhere. Wherever we go, man, remember, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, guiding us, man. He with us. The angels protecting us. All right? So at the end of the day, we need we need no need to worry. You know what we worrying about when you got the uh the understanding that the Lord control all things. You know what I'm talking about. So what do you need to worry about, man? Nothing. Continue to do what the Lord commanded you to do. And when He said, "Did I what I commanded to do?" What I uh, verse uh nine again. He said, "Have not I commanded thee?" Be strong. See, that's it. Yeah. The Lord command us to be strong, man. Be strong in the faith, all right, and be strong-minded and be strong and, and a good courage, right. you know. So with that, I hope your brothers and sisters are edified. And you know, once again, we'll give our honor, and glory, and power to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Kapodash. Once say double honors to our elders and peace and bless to the hopeful elect. Next time, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Hey, Rock Car man. Rock Car Hey, DTA, baby. Uh, DTA. DTA. Yeah. 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 Yeah.